Don asks, curious if you've tried the Wolf River Coil and Magic Carpet with radials and if the combo helps or is one good enough? You can combine the two actually, radials and the and and the screen or the magic carpet. They will um I don't know. I've 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 read some in you know, in doing research on the on the ground screen, I've read some anecdotal evidence that um adding radials to your screen will enhance things more. Uh, but I don't have any kind of solid data on it. I've only done it once or twice, adding both of them, and it does work. It's never gonna, it's never gonna hurt your performance mm -hmm. by using both the radials and the screen. Right. So that leads us to a little project uh, I was talking to Michael about, mm -hmm. um, and having multiple wavelength radials. Right. So uh, my day job as an electrician, sometimes I have spools of wire left over. Right. Fun times, but I think keep the wire on the spool and put a little mark or a piece of tape or something at your quarter wavelengths of all of your frequencies from 10 meters up to 75 meters, mm -hmm. right? And then just roll that wire up. And then depending on what band you're on, you can just, you can shorten or lengthen the radio to match the band. Uh, there you go. Or optimal tuning. And it's real quick because you have either a label or a tag or something on it. So it only takes you a couple, maybe a minute to change your radials as well. Not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. so. I think you could even do like if you went to and got like a 50 foot spool of hookup wire, uh, that would get you a radio through 40 meters, probably almost a 60 meters. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, just put a piece of like colored electrical tape. Um, just mark what colors are for which bands in your set. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Um, uh, you know, and speaking of radials, I got another one here. Um, Chuck was asking, is having a four foot tripod make it harder to tune a portable antenna with radials or to the magic carpet? How high is too high? Um, so I've heard some other people that are used that have used tripods for like the Wolf River coil or the vertical antenna. And the higher you get the antenna, the base of the antenna away from the screen, the less effective it's it, it becomes. Um, so it, it seems like proximity really, really helps, helps the most. If um, four feet might be, I think four feet might be okay. Um, but I've, 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 most people, you know, one or two feet, you know, usually when you get beyond that point, it starts to, your, 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 your diminishing returns kind of go really, really, really quick. Uh, yeah. Four feet might be a little bit too high to really kind of grab, grab that effect. If you're putting, if you're putting your um, antenna four or five feet in the air, I would really consider elevated radials at that point and take advantage of that than trying um, ground mounted radials. When I had my buddy stick, it was always more effective with a, they had a single counterpoise. It didn't use multiple radios. It had a single mm -hmm. counterpoise. It was always more effective if that counterpoise was elevated off the ground. I would usually find a tree or a bush or something to hang the other end in and having it on a camera tripod rather than having the counterpoise lay on the ground and then using a ground tripod or the stake. So, um, yeah, I, I would agree. If it's going to be off the ground on a tripod, then your best bet is to have elevated radials. But yeah. I, the Wolf River coil works so well sitting on the ground. I don't know. I don't see. A, I don't see a reason to elevate it. I really don't. Not really. Not really. It's. Um, and I know Buddy Buddy Sticks kind of been designed to operate in an elevated fashion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, with the, with its elevated radial, but um, yeah, the Wolf River, yeah, the Wolf River coil with its low tripod, just sitting on the ground there works. It works beautifully. Yeah, you know. exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.